Alicia and I are going to walk out into our woods and find her imagination station and have some hot drinks. She yeah. has chocolate and I have mint tea. And uh, I'm getting to use my snowshoes, but I can't show you because if I do, I'll fall over backwards. So we had a little bit of a mishap. Um, a little hard to keep your balance. Turns out there's uh, big holes and I went up to my waist or big snow drifts. And so now I'm going to have her turn the video off so we can get into the woods before my high knee freezes. <laughs> no work buttons off. <laughs> Just pushed away. So the problem seems to be that with the snowshoes I lose my balance and once you fall down you don't get up very easily. But look at the snow falling out of the trees. Anyway, we're not going to give up. So we're going to keep walking. Go on, Stacia. I'm not sure I can leave the camera on. Well, certainly there is a technique to snowshoeing that I need to Google and figure out. Because I think you're supposed to be on top of the snow, not... See, she's supposed to be uh, getting rid of some snow so we can sit and have some tea. And then we'll go on a little bit more, but she seems to think I'm a giant. Because I'm not going to sit that far up. Okay. I'm going to sit right here. Wow! Oh boy. It wasn't so much night And you can see it's just beautiful out here. Hope to have that full of gardens and chickens and I'd like a goat, but maybe next year. We'll keep walking back there. But for right now it's time to stop and have a drink in Stacia's imagination station. And try to warm up and <laughs> good luck. Well, with that. Honestly, from my waist on down, I have been in snow here. <laughs> it might have been better not we to go explore the woods until spring, but or to put on the snow pants. It's yeah. just so nice and warm that... Did you think you needed them? Not really. I suspected I'd get my pants covered in snow, yeah. but not really. I mean... Didn't think we'd need them, but... Well, I don't want to be too graphic, but my bum is a big ice cube right now. <laughs> <laughs> How about yours? Now that I sit on a branch, I'll have on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it seemed like a great idea to bring a warm drink out to the snow-covered woods, but when you get out here, there's nowhere to sit. And um, yes, jeans are very thin these days. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna just let this go. I was hoping to catch some snow falling off trees, but uh, <laughs> I can get some to fall off trees. We can see it, but it's falling in front of us and the camera's not seeing it. So it's not snowing, but if you watch, you'll see snow falling all around. And it's when the wind touches the branches. It's really very magical. The last time I felt like this was at a picnic in Statue of Liberty Park in northern Japan during cherry blossom season and we sat on the picnic blanket and cherry blossoms just fell all around us. Quiet, serene. Nature is just a wonderful thing. So it's beautiful back here. Um, snow is falling on my head because I'm under the tree. Yeah. We're finding lots of, uh, well, we're going to have to come fix the fence. The dripping noise is falling off branches. And the way this goes, I don't know if we can see the red post. Oh, it's through the trees over there. It's the back of our land, and so we have a fence well within that. Um, 
but when you go out here to the back, there's a 15 foot no man's land at the end of the fence. So we've got about, I don't know, but it's, it's still a ways out there. Um, this was a horse pasture and it was uh, kept well within the boundaries.